Somehow, when Bill Cravens tells his story, it all adds up, even though, in some ways, it doesn't seem as though it should. He is a University of Arkansas-trained industrial engineer with a career-spanning relationship with the Oaklawn Jockey Club. He spent time as a certified public accountant, and he ran and merged banks. He came out of a heart attack-induced retirement to guide Alltel Information Services. He also found time to help found a community bank. How could he do all that? Maybe because he considers his guiding principle to be, go fix things. To be successful, you have to set goals. And you can be successful if you want to be the best janitor, the best whatever. And it's just how you set your goals. and You can set them at almost any level and be successful. William L. Cravens was born May 26, 1934, in the small town of Paris, Arkansas. His mother and father, Veda Johns Cravens and Wyatt Lamar Cravens, both worked at a bank in Paris, which is where they met and fell in love. Cravens worked hard as a youngster, his youth shaped by growing up in a coal mining town during World War II. Paris was a coal mining town. All of the young men who didn't work in the coal mines were sent off to war. After graduating from Paris High School in 1952, Cravens was nominated to attend the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. But a high school football play that removed three of his teeth caused him to fail the dental exam for the academy. So Cravens, a Razorback fan since he saw his first college football game in 1946, was off to Fayetteville to study industrial engineering at the University of Arkansas. The choice between engineering and accounting was a tough one for Cravens, but the industrial engineering coursework included nine hours of accounting, something that set Cravens up well for his future business ventures. While at the university, Cravens met his future wife, Mary Lou. They married shortly after graduation. After earning his degree, Cravens worked for General Electric in a job that took him to Kentucky, Illinois, Massachusetts, and back to Arkansas. He was tempted to take a job with GE in New York that would have had him working on an internal management consulting group. But by that time, he and Mary Lou had three daughters, Kathy, Carrie, and Lynn, so he looked for other engineering opportunities that would allow him to remain in his home state. Not finding an engineering position, Cravens moved to Little Rock in 1962, taking a job that would eventually find him as a partner in Russell Brown & Company as a certified public accountant. There, he was assigned the Oaklawn Jockey Club as a client, starting a relationship that continues to this day. Another of his accounting clients was First National Bank of Little Rock. Cravens left the accounting firm in 1976 to join First National, becoming its president and chief executive officer in a career there that lasted until 1983. In 1984, Cravens joined Worthen Banking Corporation, becoming its chairman and chief executive officer. Then, in 1986, he suffered a heart attack. He resigned from Worthen and, as he said, laid around the pool for six months. Not one to lay around for too long, Cravens opened a private business as a certified public accountant and professional engineer. Cravens was then approached to serve as vice chairman and later chairman of the Alltel subsidiary, Alltel Information Services. He took that job for just two years at first, but ended up staying an additional five. He re-retired in 2001, but not before he and other Arkansans established Pinnacle Bank, where he served as chairman. Even in a second retirement, Cravens continues to serve on Oaklawn's board, a position he has held since 1977. He still serves as the Jockey Club's chief financial officer. Cravens is a longtime supporter of the University of Arkansas. He was honored in 2006 by induction into the university's College of Engineering Hall of Fame. Cravens has been honored many times over the years for his business and civic achievements. He was an honoree at the Heart Ball of Arkansas affiliate of the American Heart Association in 1988. He received the Pinnacle Award from the Greater Little Rock Chamber of Commerce in 1991. In 1992, Cravens was named Volunteer of the Year by the Southern Industrial Development Council for the state of Arkansas. So I, I just kind of love this state and I'm happy if we've contributed in any way to making it a better place to live. Cravens has always had the support of his family, his wife Mary Lou and his three daughters and their families, Kathy and her husband Kevin Crass and their sons Will and Ted, Carrie and her husband Paige Wilson and their son Ian, and daughter Mimi and Lynn Wagner and her sons Rex and Roddy, and his sister Sally Ann Cravens. He has served his church, Second Presbyterian, as elder, deacon, and head of stewardship. Cravens is the past board chairman of 50 for the Future, the Little Rock Port Authority, the Arkansas Arts Center, 
the Arkansas Cancer Research Center at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, the Central Arkansas Radiation Therapy Institute, the United Way of Pulaski County, the Elizabeth Mitchell Children's Center, the City Education Trust, and the Arkansas Repertory Theater. He has served on the boards of the Park Foundation, the University of Arkansas College of Engineering, the University of Arkansas Alumni Board, the Greater Little Rock Chamber of Commerce, the Reynolds Institute of Aging at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, and the University of Arkansas Board of Advisors. I think I've been successful in my marriage <laughs> and love my family, love my grandchildren. Uh, so I measure things a lot by that sort of measurement. And it's, it's what you set out as a goal and whether you can achieve it. And, and I've never wanted to, well, be the richest man in the world. That, so if there, I would have been unsuccessful. But I've been very successful in the activities that I've taken on and feel like I've been responsible. And so to me, that is personal satisfaction is set a goal, meet it, and uh, then that's been successful. Bill Cravens had great expectations when he started out, but mainly he just wanted to go fix things. Throughout a career that incorporated engineering, accounting, banking, finance, and founding new endeavors, he did just that. For his knack of fixing things, for his service to his community, for never forgetting the lessons he learned growing up in Paris, Arkansas, Mr. William L. Cravens is indeed deserving of induction into the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame.